you seen Star Wars? <laughs> it looks like the Cassian Andor series is yet again having trouble. Yesterday, Deadline reported that the showrunner and director, Tony Gilroy, is no longer the director for the series, and this is due to Tony being stuck in New York because of COVID, and the filming for the Cassian Andor series is going to be based in the UK. So, Gilroy decided to step down as director, but he still remains as the showrunner and executive producer of the series, and will be replaced by a new series director who is a man named Toby Haynes. Toby was already considered to be one of the directors for the series since he is based in the UK and he will now be directing the first three episodes of the series. What's ironic about this is that it's not the first director change for the Cassian Andor series. This is, I think, the second one it's undergone. The original showrunner was a guy named Stephen Schiff, if I'm saying his name right. He stepped down from a, the project back in April of 2020 but remained a story writer for the show. But when this happened, the series was almost canceled because they couldn't find anyone to replace it, but yet again, Tony Gilroy, who saved Rogue One in post-production, came in to save the day again for the Cassian Andor series, but now it seems like there is another big shift for the series, but this time it's not due to script issues, it's due to the travel restrictions of the world right now. What also sucks is that this series has kind of been delayed now. Filming does not start until next month due to the production issues of 2020, so the filming for the show begins two years after it was announced, which is kind of disappointing to think about. And one of the reasons I say that is because there was a lot of, not negative reaction, but it, it was kind of like a drop in the bucket when it was announced. Not a lot of people were interested in this show. I don't feel like there's a high demand for a Cassian Andor series. And just because of that, there may be another problem with this and, and having another problem after problem after problem when it comes to having a showrunner, almost canceling the series because you don't like the way the scripts are going, bring in Tony Gilroy, delaying it because of COVID, and then Tony Gilroy is no longer the series director. So now you bring in another guy it's kind of one thing after the other. But this also means that the series won't likely release until maybe 2022, when it was originally on Disney's slate for release in 2021. Now, this could actually be good news, though, because now this means we will get the Bad Batch animated series in 2021, probably around the same time when the LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game releases in spring. And since we know that there will be a season three of The Mandalorian, it looks like it could possibly debut in fall of 2021, just to keep that consistency of releasing the seasons for The Mandalorian of fall of every year. But the best news of all of this is this. We will get the Cassian Andor series in probably spring of 2022, the Kenobi series in summer of 2022, and the fourth season of The Mandalorian in fall of 2022. So that's three live action Star Wars shows all in one year, and all of them back to back in terms of release windows. And that's not even including the potential Bad Batch series, and that's not even including the Jedi Fallen Order 2, the sequel that's coming out in 2022. So it looks like 2022 is shaping up to be a big year, and that's originally when we were supposed to get the next Star Wars film until it was also delayed because of COVID, being backed up until 2023 now. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not really excited for the Cassian Andor series due to the lack of interest that I have for the character Cassian himself. I don't think he was very memorable. I'm kind of tired of that timeline between episodes three and four that we're all exploring. And even this new director, Toby Haynes, I, I don't really know how I feel about him. I know he's directed some of those uh, Black Mirror episodes, and I don't really love that show at all. And I, I do like the aspect of every single episode, the new concept and the new director, but I haven't seen which specific ones he's done. I haven't seen anything about his work, so I'll probably um, watch some of the things he's worked on before actually uh, giving him a proper critique or any proper judgment or opinion on him. But I think because of all the trouble this series has been having, they may only do a limited series, limiting the cast and indoor series to one season. I mean, can you imagine them investing over $200 million in a production cost for multiple seasons of Cass and Andor, a character I bet that most casual audiences don't remember? It's not like Rogue One was a bad film. It did over, what, one point. $1.2 billion in the box office. It was a little bit below Rise of Skywalker, so maybe 1.2. I really can't remember exactly, but it did really well in the box office, but I don't imagine it did well because of the characters. I think it was just a very fun and action-packed movie that a lot of casual audiences felt inclined to watch because it's familiarity of Star Wars. It's Star Wars we all knew and loved, I don't think anyone came out of that movie going, wow, I really like that Cassian Andor guy. I would love to see a series based around him. But, 
who knows what will happen in the series. Maybe it will actually develop the character a lot more where we have a little bit more interest. We know he kind of does some dark things for the Rebellion that a lot of people, at least uh, in, in the Force, uh, the good people, the Jedi, or someone like Jyn Erso, kind of looks at and frowns upon, and maybe even Cassian kind of frowns upon that as well. There is another lady who was casted as, like, the co-star, so maybe he has a sister that he loses along the way. We also know that uh, K2SO is reprising, or, or coming back in this series, basically, and back in 2019 in Chicago for Star Wars Celebration, they actually showed, like, a little bit of a clip of K2 joking around in like a pilot seat or everything so they kind of have the outline of what they expect the show to be like and what's it about and where it's set and everything but we just don't really know what's going to happen now in terms of release date is it going to come out in 2022 or is it going to come out in late 2021 that's been the kind of loose release window that they've had for a while now and that's what I've been speculating that they would release but it seems like at this point they may not. They may be pushing this back to 2022 in the same timeline as the Kenobi series and then hopefully season four of The Mandalorian. And, and maybe, just maybe, if they were going to put this out in 2021, we wouldn't have gotten Season 3 of The Mandalorian in that same year. So this could be a blessing in disguise. Either way, it sounds kind of nice having three live-action Star Wars shows in one year, 2022. Even though I don't love the idea of a Cassian Andor series, it would kind of get you familiarized with that era, that episode 3 to 4 gap that we're in, and it's around the same time the Kenobi series is based on, I believe. It's five years after the events of Revenge of the Sith, so, yeah, because Rogue One's like many years after that, right? It's like, it's like right before New Hope, which is 19 years. It's so, okay, I mean, that, that works in timeline-wise, and it, it'll be interesting to see a young Cassian Andor, I guess. It's mostly, to me, intriguing to see how him and K2 became so close and how they met, and I would imagine that's part of where the story will be taking place, kind of like Han Solo and Chewbacca in Solo, a Star Wars story. But tell me your thoughts below. Are you excited for the Cassian Andor series? What do you think about Tony Gilroy stepping down as the series director in this new guy, Toby Haynes? coming in as series director and directing the first three episodes. Do you know this guy at all? Have you seen any of his work? And if you have, let me know what you thought about it. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe because it does about the channel. I'm Star Wars Only. I'll see you all next time. May the Force be with you always.